Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys in regards to batch processing, which is basically copying settings from one image and, and getting it onto another image, is the actual sync feature and auto sync features. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the same image that we worked on in the last tutorial, which was exercise file 2-11. If you have already reset this image, don't worry, just apply some settings to it so it looks different. Now we have our, our previous settings still on this image. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection of images by either holding shift to make a selection in order or holding control or command on a Mac to make a selection out of order, just a random selection of our choice. We're just going to hold shift and select the first five images. Once we've done that, we see our bottom right buttons have changed. We have this option to sync. Uh, and we actually also have reset that hasn't changed. But we also have this little button next to sync, which allows us to flip it up and we get auto sync. Now they do two different things, and let's show you first what syncing does. I'm going to click this button down so it goes back to sync, and what we're going to do is we're going to click sync. And what it does is it takes the image that's highlighted. It takes our first image, which was this image that we selected at the beginning, and you can see because it has a slight difference in the actual tone of the highlight. This one's a little bit brighter than the other ones. So it takes that first image that we selected, and it's going to take those settings and synchronize them over the other images in our selection. So once again, we choose exactly what we want to synchronize. I'm going to hit check none first. We're going to select what we've actually changed, which is the basic tone and our clarity. And we also want to make sure that we use the same process version across all of the images. So if any other images are in process version 2003 or 2010, it's going to convert them to the current process version, which we're using 2012. All right, so now we're going to hit synchronize to finish this, and it's going to automatically apply that synchronized setting over the other two images. Because these two images, we had already actually copied those settings over, you're not going to see them change. But these other two images, you will see them change. So we actually see the new images applied. We can see the exact same settings being copied over on both of these images. Now what we're going to do now is show you how this auto sync works. So what we're going to do is turn on auto sync right here. And now any adjustments that we make to these images is going to be applied automatically to our entire selection. So regardless of what you're selecting, if I'm adjusting exposure down to negative four, it's going to be applied to all four or all five of our images selected. If I bring it back up to zero, it's going to apply to all of those images simultaneously. So with auto sync turned on, it's basically batch processing our images simultaneously based on what we're doing. Now, if I hit reset, it's going to reset all these images once again, simultaneously. Now, when is auto sync really useful? Well, once again, if we have a selection of images that were all shot in the exact same scene in the exact same time, I can just turn on auto sync and make my adjustments to all those images at once. And each one of them will have the exact same setting applied. So it's just another way of being able to basically batch process our images inside of the develop module in Lightroom. All right, guys, so I'm going to hit control D to deselect everything or command D on a Mac. And then we're going to select that first image just to have something on the screen. So at this point, you guys should know that we have several different ways of basically moving one, moving develop settings from one image to the next image. We can use our previous button. We can use the copy and paste settings. We can also do batch syncing. And we can also select a group of images and just to use auto sync to apply uh, settings to those images simultaneously. So there's a ton of different ways and each one you guys kind of need to customize and kind of use what works with your workflow the best. Most typically what we're doing is we are applying settings to a specific image in a scene and then just using the sync feature to sync across that entire scene and then making minor adjustments as we go through each one of those independently. But these batch processing techniques are extremely powerful in Lightroom and it's what enables us to edit so many images so rapidly. In fact, we can go through and cull and edit over a thousand images an hour using batch processing inside of Lightroom and also as well as kind of maximizing and, and really perfecting our workflow and our techniques and stuff like that as well. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next tutorial.